Welcome back to Everyday Art by Brittany Winter. And today we are going to varnish some of the paintings that I've done over the last couple of weeks. I've let them cure completely. Um, the only thing I've done to the silicone is just took a completely dry, soft cloth and just wiped over the painting. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but you should still be, still be able to see where there's some shinier spots. Most people would think they were wet, but it's not. It's where the silicone was. Um, some people put baby powder, but then, you know, the white gets in the little crevices you may have or whatever. So this is the way I do it. I hope I put that back in frame. So I'm going to be using a Liquitex Professional Gloss Varnish. Um, it's the best I've found so far. I was using sprays and it just didn't work out for me. The sprays would leave bumps and if you sprayed too close then you would get like bubbles underneath the spray. Um, it was just really weird. So they looked decent but this does better and I would prefer to put a little extra money to make it look better. So I'm just going to be using these little brushes the foam ones. I used a paintbrush for some previous ones and it took like four coats to where you couldn't see the brush marks. Um, so we're going to try it with this today and see if maybe this hides the brush marks and it'll self level a little better. Okay, so I'm just going to take it and pour a little on and a little does go a long way. I may have to add a little bit more but we'll see. And then you just pick a direction. I'm going to tilt it a little so I can kind of see. I want to make sure I get this edge. I will be doing the sides also. And then hopefully you can see the difference in the glare. Don't know if you can from up there. But go ahead and catch this at the bottom so it won't fall off. Get all the corners. Because then you can always go back over it and pull it one direction, you know, to where it's... I'm going to go back over and pull it long, pull it long ways. And I'm going to tilt it and make sure it's fully covered. Now I do still see some strokes, but when it dries, they'll probably dry out of it. And if they don't, I can always put a second coat, but it already looks much better than when I was using the brush. Okay, and then I want to go... And get all of the edges. Make extra attention on the corners. Okay. Then I'm going to set this one to the side because I believe I will put at least one more coat, possibly two. So I'm going to put it over here in my box. And we're going to bring this one. This one was reaching for the light because of the red hand and fingers reaching for all the bright stuff. And it's the same thing. You can still see some of the shiny. And by the way, on the back I have these little pins just to keep it up off the ground so that it's easy to reach under without touching paint and getting a mess on you. This one's a little saggy in the center, so when it's fully varnished and done, because the varnish will add more weight, then I'll just lightly spray the back to tighten it back up. And these are small bottles. These are 8-ounce bottles, but I've used one bottle out of four, and I think I've done 
probably 12 or 13 canvases with that bottle. And with those, because I was using the brush, I did do four coats on every canvas. And that included my larger canvases. Um, if I only have to do two to three coats, I say I could probably do 20 or more canvases with one little eight ounce bottle. But it kind of also depends on the size of your canvas. Most of mine are 8 by 10 I do have a few larger canvases that I do. I'm just going back to bring it all one way, one direction. And getting the edges and the lips where the edge meets the top because you want to make sure you get that. And if you miss a spot on the edges, you can always come back when you redo a second coat. And this is going to definitely bring this gold out really well. Set that there to dry. Set my next box up. This one, I believe it goes this way. But it can be used anyway. I really like this one. I'm hoping that I'm keeping these in frame because I can't see. It's way up there. <laughs> this one has quite a few metallics in it. So I'm hoping that this will help it to shine a lot brighter. I can see it bubbling up a little bit on this one, but I did use extra silicone in this one. So I probably could have wiped some more of the silicone off or done something, but it will dry level and flat after the second to third coat, so I'm not going to stress too much. same direction. And I'm sorry for any background noise. They are in there watching Lake Placid. So you're probably going to hear a lot of stuff. 